Impressive military vehicles designed for various missions and utilized by armies worldwide are capable of traversing any type of terrain. These off-road military vehicles include military trucks, armored vehicles, UTVs, search and rescue tactical vehicles, fast attack vehicles, and ground mobility vehicles. They are utilized by the finest armies in the world for missions such as reconnaissance, surveillance, and troop transport. Here are the top five most amazing 4x4 off-road military vehicles in the world. Number five, Polaris MRZR D4. The Polaris MRZR4 is a larger version of the MRZR2, an ultralight all-terrain vehicle. It is utilized by the U.S. Special Operations Command, U.S. Marine Corps, and special forces from various countries, including Turkmenistan. This vehicle is popular among conventional forces as well. The MRZRs were specifically designed for expeditionary forces, allowing foot soldiers to move quickly. Unlike HMMWVs, which are heavily armored, the MRZRs rely on speed and off-road mobility to avoid enemy contact. They are able to traverse off-road routes that enemy vehicles cannot access, making them fast off-road mules. The MRZR4 can accommodate the driver and three passengers. It features anti-roll bars that protect the crew in case of rollovers. These bars can be folded down to decrease the vehicle's overall height. Additionally, an optional light canvas cover is available. Similar to its predecessor, the MRZR4 is highly versatile and can be easily customized for various missions, such as supply and personnel transport or casualty evacuation. It has a small cargo area at the rear, which can carry crew equipment, supplies like ammunition, water, and fuel. In emergency situations, extra passengers can be transported in the cargo area. The cargo area can also be configured to carry two litters, and rearward-facing seats are offered as an option. The MRZR4 has a payload capacity of 680 kilograms, providing an increase compared to the previous MRZR2. Additionally, it can tow an off-road trailer with an additional 454 kilograms payload capacity. The MRZR-4 can be equipped with different weapons, including machine guns and automatic grenade launchers, making it suitable for fast attack rolls. It is powered by a three-cylinder 875 cubic centimeters Polaris ProStar 900 petrol engine, developing 88 horsepower. Manufacturing is done by Navistar International. The vehicle has an automatic continuous variable transmission system and selectable all-wheel drive, although it typically operates on a two-wheel drive system. A recovery winch is included as a standard feature for self-recovery and recovery of other vehicles. The Polaris MRZR D4 is another version of the MRZR4, featuring a 1-liter Kohler turbocharged diesel engine. It is designed to use diesel and JP8 jet fuel, and has a larger fuel tank, resulting in up to 80% greater range than the petrol-powered MRZR4. The MRZR D4 also includes updated seats and a roll cage. However, its essential features, such as payload capacity, handling, and mobility, remain the same as the baseline MRZR4. In 2016, the U.S. Marine Corps ordered 144 of these vehicles, while the Canadian Army ordered 36 vehicles with an option for more, along with 12 tactical trailers. Number 4. Nikola Reckless The Nikola Reckless is an electric utility vehicle developed by U.S.-based hybrid truck manufacturer Nikola Motor Company. It is a militarized version of the Nikola NZT off-road utility vehicle designed to fulfill various mission needs of land and marine forces. With its combat, reconnaissance, and prime mover capabilities, the Reckless UTV is a versatile vehicle. The vehicle made its debut at the Marine West Exposition in February 2018 and was showcased at the International Special Operations Forces Industry Exhibition Conference in May 2018. Built on a 4x4 chassis, the Nikola Reckless can switch to a 2x4 drive system based on the mission requirements. Its modular design and off-road capability make it suitable for various terrains. The control arms of the vehicle are reinforced with high-grade steel webbing. 
measuring 3.83 meters in length, 1.57 meters in width, and 1.87 meters in height. The Reckless UTV has a wheelbase of 2.99 meters and ground clearance of 0.355 meters. It can accommodate a crew of four, with two in the front and the rest in the rear section. Depending on the optional equipment, the dry weight of the vehicle ranges from 1,043 kilograms to 1,996 kilograms, while its payload capacity is 635 kilograms. The chassis is equipped with a tow hitch capable of towing objects weighing up to 1,361 kilograms. Additionally, front and rear mounted winches can pull objects weighing up to 2,041 kilograms each. Mounted on top of the Nikola Reckless UTV is a remote weapon system featuring a 12.7mm machine gun capable of defeating targets such as light armored vehicles, enemy forces, and bases. The remote weapon system also supports weapons like a 7.62mm machine gun and automatic grenade launchers can also be carried to enhance crew survivability. The vehicle is equipped with various instruments including an odometer, digital gauge, trip meter, coolant temperature gauge, speedometer, tachometer, voltmeter, hour meter, service indicator, fuel gauge, and clock. The driver's situational awareness is further enhanced by 0.3 meter and 0.17 meter display monitors that provide mission information. Number 3. Venper. The Venper is an armored vehicle designed for special forces. It is built to be versatile, agile, fast, resilient, and efficient, ensuring excellent mobility on any type of terrain. With level 1 mine protection, it offers standard safety features, and additional ballistic protection is available as an option. The Vimper has a modular design, allowing for versatility in various missions. It can be equipped with the latest communication and jamming equipment, and its extended range is supported by extra water and fuel tanks. The self haulage winch adds convenience, and the vehicle can be easily airlifted. With independent suspension, the Vimper provides utmost comfort, exceptional mobility on all terrains, superior traction, and high levels of stability and safety both on and off the road, regardless of speed. Number 2. NIMR Ajbin LRSOV. The Ajbin Long Range Special Operations Vehicle, manufactured by NIMR Automotive in the UAE, is part of the Ajbin Armored Vehicle family. It was unveiled at the IDEX 2015 Defense Exhibition in Abu Dhabi and showcased at the Egypt Defense Expo 2018 in Cairo. Designed for Global Special Operations Forces, the vehicle is used by the UAE Armed Forces for various missions such as reconnaissance, search and rescue, and surveillance. Equipped with multiple weapon mounts, including a centrally mounted heavy machine gun on the roof, the Ajbin Lursov can effectively destroy enemy fortifications. It can also be armed with automatic grenade launchers and small rifles to enhance firepower. Optional features include ballistic and blast protection systems, night vision equipment, blast belly plates, and personal weapon mounts. Powered by a diesel engine with a maximum power of 296 horsepower, the vehicle has a maximum speed of 110 km per hour and can travel up to 700 km at a cruise speed of 100 km per hour. Number 1. Pern 4x4. During the Eurosatory 2018 exhibition in Paris, the finalized version of the Perrin 4x4 light armored special operation vehicle was showcased as one of the Czech exhibits. Developed by the SVOS company, a Czech producer of armored vehicles since 1992, this vehicle was specifically designed to meet the elite 601st Special Forces Group's requirements. After four years of development, it was unveiled at the IDET 2017 exhibition. The Czech Army has already received four vehicles at a total cost of CZK 94.5 million. The main purpose of the Perrin is to provide the Czech Special Forces with a versatile 4x4 light armored vehicle that can be customized for different missions. Its capabilities include transportation, combat, fire support, and logistical support for operations. With great maneuverability, it can easily navigate through narrow streets, forests, and mountain paths. 
The Pern's body is removable and made up of steel sheets, which can be reinforced with detachable ballistic and mine blast protection according to the desired Stanag 4569 level. The vehicle can be armed with a 12.7mm machine gun or a grenade launcher mounted on the top in a circular ring, and up to four 7.62mm machine guns can be mounted on the front, sides, and rear. Its six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine produces an output of 240 kilowatts at 2,200 RPM, allowing for a maximum road speed of 110 kilometers per hour. With a fuel tank capacity of 230 liters, the Pern has a cruising range of 700 kilometers on roads. In terms of dimensions, the Pern has a length of 6.03 m, a width of 2.3 m, and a height of 2.6 m. It has a curb weight of 10,400 kilograms and a payload capacity of 2,600 kilograms. Additional equipment such as smoke grenade launchers, RPGs, and a mortar for firing from the vehicle can be carried. Depending on the mission, the Pern can be equipped with various communication, jamming, and other devices. It has a crew of two, driver and commander, and can transport up to four fully armed operators. The Pern is just one example of the modern light or mid-weight vehicles developed and produced by the Czech defense industry. Other notable vehicles include the Patriot 4x4 Tactical APC by Excalibur Army, the Gerlach 4x4 Armored Vehicle by Zeter, the Nimr RIV and NIMR Ajman 440A by VOPCZ, the Titus 6x6 by Tatra, and the Long Range Patrol Vehicle Cheetah by Toyota Dajbik. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Top 5 Choices YouTube channel. Have a nice day and see you again. Goodbye.